everybody. Welcome to Studio J. My name is Chris. We are presented by Come Here NC. And in the studio with me, MC Taylor, his golden messenger. How are you? Welcome. Thanks for having me. A uh, lot going on with you. New album. Yeah. And um, you've got a series of shows coming up at uh, Hall River Ballroom this weekend as well. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Kickoff of a tour or, or just sort of warming up? Uh, well, like we're talking about, um, it's it's sort of a soft soft opening for, for the tour. Yeah. Um, we do these shows at the ballroom, go to about a week later, we go to Australia for a very short tour. Yeah. Um, and then we come back and start touring the States mid-October and until the end of the gotcha. year, basically. Let's talk about the new album. Sure. It's so good. Thanks. It's so good. Thank Walk you. us through it. Your kids are on the cover, I think, right? They are. They yeah. were. They were younger then. They're older. Uh, they're older now than, uh, of course, when I took that picture, which was a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, geez, the new record. Well, it's called Jump for Joy. Uh, it's just been out for a little bit. Yeah. Um, what what do you want to know about? You recorded it, it at um, is it Sonic Ranch in yes. West Texas, and I yes. read I think an interview that you had done with maybe Glide um, about how there's a uh, feeling about recording there that's sort of a spiritual place. I mean i I found it to be, I found it to be so. Yeah. Um, it's um, see the studio is about forty minutes um, east of El Paso. It's right on the border, Mm -hmm. and so when you're in the studio, you're looking over into Mexico. So when um, when dusk comes and the lights uh, lights start to kind of come on in in the distance, that's those are the lights of Juarez. Mm. Um, The studio is in the middle of thousands and thousands of acres of pecan trees. It's a, it's a working pecan farm mm. and um, happens to have multiple um, studios sort of embedded in the, in the um, pecan trees. The, the guy that um, runs and owns the place, Tony, grew up grow up grew up there and decided at some point a couple decades ago that he wanted to build some recording studios. It's really so yeah random. it's 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 a very singular place. I've never um I've never been anywhere quite like it, but it was it was a good incubator for the music. I mean of course I had the songs. I had a, a very good idea about what the record was going to be about, but um recording in that space really brought um a sort of atmosphere to to it that I don't know would would exist in quite the same way had it not been made there. When you are bringing music to record in a studio, Mm -hmm. it's obviously somewhat finished, right? You've got a general sense of this is what the songs are going to sound like. You probably have some demos. Yeah. But um, when you go into that space and you walk in with a producer, I mean, a lot can happen over those few weeks of recording, right? The producer is me. The producer's me. Oh, you produced so, it yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, then you really knew how it was going to sound. Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah, I've made enough records at this point in my life that I know, I or I, I think I know, where to keep things loose and where to keep things tight. So there are certain, certain ideas that I, I know I need to have in place before yeah. we walk into the studio and and then there's lots of open space um in my thinking about the record that i like to leave open until we get there just to see what happens and i try not to get too attached to any ideas but mm-hmm. you know there for instance on on this record there are um a lot of like what i would think of as um sort of frontline melodies that aren't that aren't vocal melodies but are some instrument playing playing like a a hook mm-hmm. of some kind. Yeah. That's generally the kind of stuff um I mean I'm like as I'm saying this I'm thinking about all the stuff that actually was written right there on the spot. But generally speaking, I'm trying to have a conception of what those melodies are going to be before we go in just mm-hmm. because 
I've, I've found it to sort of be the kiss of death in a studio to have a bunch of open space in a song and just tell someone, like, just play. Just see what you find. Sometimes you come up with something good. Sometimes you end up, like, burning through hours and wondering uh, whether you got anything usable. The first single, New Grape, led itself to a terrific music video oh yeah <laughs> um man talk about that it's so funny i don't know how you kept yourself from laughing in the very start of that video well i didn't so that's funny. why it took so long to make yeah um so let's see the new great video is um the plot of the video not the song um but the the plot of the video is that um I am selling out to a grape soda company and the um, the sort of owner and Svengali of this soda company is promising me the, the world, basically. Yeah. He's telling me that he's going to make me rich. and But what I need to do is wear a grape costume um, when I perform and basically become a shill for for grape soda yeah. and so um really the, the there are a whole bunch of people in it but the cast is myself and my friend johnny fritz plays yeah. the manager who is like one of the Amazing. funniest people i've ever ever met i don't understand why he's not famous so funny <laughs> and did i see andy frasco as a bartender oh yeah andy frasco yeah, is in I there saw too that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was very very funny yeah did you grow up in durham are you from here originally no no i moved to north carolina in 2007 uh, so I grew up in, um, I grew up in Southern California. Oh, what brought you here? I, uh, went to grad school at UNC. Oh, okay. Yep. My daughter's doing the same thing. Good for her. Yeah. Grad what school was good. What were you studying? Uh, I got a master's degree in, um, folklore. I don't know if they mm. even call the program that anymore. I suspect it may be called American studies at this point. Were you making music at that time? I was. I've been making music since I was a kid. Um, that was a moment in time where I was, it was unclear what I was going to be doing with myself musically. Uh, I, like it could have gone either way. Yeah. Part of me was, you know, that was right around the time when um, my wife and I were having our first kid. I had spent all of my life up till then playing in bands and making records and touring and with, you know, not a ton of success and I was kind of like I either like re-center my relationship with music right now or I just move on what were, what would you have moved on to I don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing it worked that's, out that's what my wife was asking too like what do you think what are you gonna, gonna do, do? <laughs> yeah well I think if you're gonna be successful in music you probably shouldn't have a backup plan you probably should really be yeah, in, in I mean, it. it's it's hard to say. It's hard to it's hard to predict what like a life um, dedicated to art will bring. Um, hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think it does require require a person to be all in. Yeah. And where'd the name come from? His Golden His Messenger? Golden Messenger, yeah. Um, gosh, I've been asked that question so many times. I, know, I tried not to ask so it. So many times. I tried times. not to, but I'm like, man, I need to know. Um, I've been asked that question so many times that I don't even have a good answer for it anymore <laughs> other than um, it seemed like a name that um, there's something in in the word choice and the syllables that feels like it wraps itself around the music in some way that I can't even I can't even describe it just, just feels right you know, I couldn't even get rid of it now if I wanted no, to you could not so. no <laughs> well MC Taylor thanks for coming by Studio J it's great to have you here thanks for and, having me and uh, looking forward to seeing you at Hall River Ballroom yeah and congrats on a fantastic new album thank you so much